Are you okay, Commander? Are you Martin? I'm just waiting for a cup of water to come on. What madness all this YouTube is insanity, isn't it? Hi, Freedom. Hi, Timmy B. My eyes are terrible. Yeah, I've seen a bit of PP covering it. Um, I was going to cover it with PP tomorrow, but I'm absolutely um, outraged by it, so I'm covering it now. <sighs> totally never ending, Key Commander. I just cannot believe it. They're not happy. Is there enough people in here, then? Hey, sick of waiting. Sick of waiting for you. Start. Is there enough people in to? How can I how can I put it to manipulate what you're saying and to try and make me look more of a dickhead? Is that what you're trying to do? By the looks of it, you are. Yeah, you're trying to make me look a right scumbag, but I'm not a fucking scumbag. What I said in that video is my opinion and my opinion only. Not everybody else is. It's what I see. And it's what I see. You'd, all I've seen in this video is you tried to make me look a complete and utter shitbag. You and PP. PP is nothing but a fucking pussy. That's what he is. At the end of the day, it's my fucking opinion. If you don't like what I say, don't do what you're doing. Like you're doing now. You're attention seeking. Looking drama. More drama for you. You wanted a reply back? I'm giving you one. Let's listen to what you've got to say, drama queen. That the house has been attacked how many times. They're not happy that we've got... And is that my problem? And is that my fault that you, you've been attacked on multiple occasions? If you didn't do and say what you do on YouTube, it wouldn't happen to you, would it? You How you conduct yourself on YouTube. Sorry that your house has been attacked. I put videos out of your look and I put it bang out of fucking order. I do not. This is what I'm saying. You think I'm against you. No, I'm not. It's just what I see on YouTube and I put my opinion out. So you can either take it, lump it or shove it. Simple as. Don't start doing lives and trying to belittle me because it's not going to work. I'm going to put my feet down and just push even more. It's only my opinion, Anna. You don't. You can take it out however you want. And let's carry on because I want to hear what you said and I want to tell my community what I think about what you say about me, okay? My right to reply, Emma Cockrell. Lunatics stating all kinds of madness. And, and now I've had enough of it, but I'll get to the end statement, obviously, when I've covered the first part of it. Hey, Donna. Right, so, tonight I was made aware of a video PP had covered, bless him, um, just absolute insanity. Oh, bless him, PP. What's he got? Do you want me to tell you what? His content does not concern me at all. What comes out that bloke's mouth is just all bubbles. He is fucking off his fucking rocker. He has got serious fucking issues. So that's why I don't bother. I don't bother listening or even, even acknowledging PP. He's nothing to me and never will be. It's just what people say about me. If I'm wrong by what I say, Tell me, put it in the comments, and I'll talk to you about it. With you doing this video, Emma, it's just made me 
want to do one straight back to you. Because I think it's wrong by what you're doing. You're trying to make me look a complete or not a dickhead but with your community. And that's what you're doing. What I say, if it hurts you and you think I'm bang out or order, tell me. Many people have said, you're wrong by what you say. This is what happened. Please take the video down. And I have. And I have. There's always that leeway to talk. But you think I'm all against you. Never. Never been against you. I've always put my opinion through. And if people don't like it, more through all them. So it was off um, True Seeker. He made some horrendous allegations and horrendous accusations. Um, I've had to write a few bits down because I was obviously ready for bed. Um, I believe a few videos were done tonight, actually. One of them was by a lady called Anne. Um, last week in PP um, Exposures Live, prior to the live, I had this message off her and it said, if you're a friend of Jesus, why are you laughing at people who've been um, sexually assaulted? I had no idea what what was going on and the comment got me removed. I would never laugh at people that had been sexually assaulted because I'd been through it myself. So that was the first one from that one. And then tonight they've done a covering video where Brian, bless him, said I'm going to phone um, the police station to say come be in through. I haven't done nothing. But that was a person who's got a genuine heart and felt sorry for the lad who got attacked um, and was trying to change his life around. But the next one that I've seen, that's insignificant, whatever... That lady's saying she's obviously got some kind of problem with me and Brian, but nobody can like you all the time, can they? Yeah, it seems um, Timmy. Is it Timmy that said that? Um, yeah, Timmy. It seems all these people are connected um, in some kind of way. See what I mean, Amy? You think we're all connected? No. No, we're not. I'm on my own. I'm a fucking middle-aged man. All on my own, doing my own fucking thing. You don't understand. When I watch Irish Ball and what he said, and all the other people have said, and I've watched the other videos, what other people have said, it puts things together, Emma. And when you start putting things together, it starts clicking into place. And... When you figure it out, you know, and that's when I put my opinion. It's only what I see what other people have put through. So what you've got to understand, I'm saying what other people have said, but I'm saying it's a different way. I'm saying it's my opinion and my opinion only. It's like Venom when he came on here the other week. We let him on. We didn't let anyone attack him. We didn't do anything, right? We made sure all was okay. And I went into his chat the other night and I was attacked off the mods, the panel and the chat. And then his address got leaked, didn't it? By Cumbrian Truth. That's what I'm saying. You're telling me you've been attacked in Venom's chat and then Cumbrian Truth puts out Venom's address. So what do you expect me think? What do you expect me think? There wasn't a problem between Cumbria and Truth and Venom, was there? Not all I know of. That's what that's that's what I'm thinking, and that's my opinion. If it's not true, it shouldn't hurt you, should it? Water's off a duck back, like Brian says, isn't it? And that's off someone who said he doesn't agree with women being like abused. So that's insanity as well. But I am sticking with this true seek, seek one. Um, thanks all for coming on anyway. So, I've had to make a few notes. <laughs> right. First of all, he was, like, insinuating that, um, obviously, our relationship with Ash um, went on far longer than it did. Now, anyone that knows us um, knows that we didn't get on with Ash at the time. Um, we, he had people in his ear... Um, 
saying different things and and we obviously didn't speak he never had a problem with brian it was it was me he got told i was humble driving and gold mask and stuff but when the lads come out of jail he's i've seen a difference in the way he was and he had the decency to apologize alive uh twice to us and i really really believe, believed him and i still do that he wanted to change his life around and at the end of the day jesus forgive us so if someone's saying sorry to you you've got you've got to forgive them and give them a second chance um so we didn't speak for ages i'd say the last three to four weeks um after he's apologized We've spoken to him a few times. I've spoken to him in his lives. I said, keep on the right path. If you look at all my comments, it was always keep on the right path and do what you're doing um, and keep going forward. Um, like that's all we were trying to advise him. Along with PP and others, we didn't want nothing from him. Nothing from him at all. All we wanted him to do was sort his life out. So, which he tried to do. Um so you tell me then, Anna, why was he outside Dickie's house? Why was he making silly comments? Why was he putting people's address out? Answer me that. If he wanted to change his life, Anna, this is serious. Why would he do what he did? He was going off his head all the time, drinking and fucking breaking his fucking conditions. He didn't want change. Come on, man, let's get a bit of fucking reality, eh? He didn't want change. Did he fuck? He wanted... Get reactions off people, and he was gaining them, wasn't he? So, Truth Seeker has done a video saying Brian is fi uh, filling people's heads with bubbles. <clears throat> Ash did want his life to change, and he did ask if we knew anyone for work. Now, contrary to what you say, that he couldn't get his head out of YouTube and he hasn't got a day's work in him, haven't you done anything wrong in your life, Truth Seeker? If you take knowledge, or if you ask PP, your best friend, who you talk to all the time, he'll tell you, I've shown him my acro. Yeah? I've got 30, what, sorry, 50, 57, 57 pages, I think I would have to look. 57 page acro, that's what I've got. Mine's all violence, football. I can share with you if you want. You know what I mean? I've got, not got a problem with that. I've been a very, very, very horrible person. Um, very horrible. But I had the chance to move away from my area because when I got out of jail, I got a condition not to go back. And I didn't. And that's the best thing I ever did because I got on my feet. I'm not a bad person. I just put things out what I see. It's, it's What can I say? Have you not, uh, have you got a squeaky clean past? No, we haven't. Have you never sinned or anything like that? Because you seem to have the voice of somebody who is absolutely perfect. So if somebody is asking us to get them work, right, and then checking up the next day to see if, if anyone had got back about any work, that tells me someone wants to change life. But you're telling me you've not spoke to him for weeks. And now you're telling me that he was phoning you up on a regular basis to see if you got work i don't understand this is this is what you don't understand i ca i catch little things what people say and then they contradict themselves by saying something completely different you gotta understand where i'm coming from at the end of the day right and he did this while he was in prison he only told us this the other day he said while i was in prison he sent sorry letters out to people and you said you didn't speak to him for weeks don't get it don't get it Am I, am I saying something wrong here? Don't get it. Um, Julie, Cindy, you'll remember um, me and Ash not getting on. These people seem to think we've been using Ash for a long time, paying him to do things. It's absolute insanity. So can you answer me the question, who paid him the 10 grand? Can you answer me that? I'm just wondering, that's all. I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying, do you know the person who paid him the 10 grand? All the people that paid him the money, do you? Just asking. And then we can put it to bed then, can't we? If you know, tell me. 
So you've actually used the word to us. You said to, to Brian, all you scumbags paid Ash to terrorise people. Now let's get one thing straight. Let's get one thing straight. Did I say you? I said all of you. Could have done. Couldn't you? Let's get that straight, Anne, before you say it. Let's get it straight. You could have done, couldn't you? Straight, right? right. We've well, never given Ash a penny. Not one single penny, never bought him a coffee, never done anything, right? So where are you getting this from? I haven't got a clue. All we wanted to do, along with Exposure TV, PP, and people like that, was try and get everybody to, to get along. Because the poor lad has been pulled from Pillar Post, and he came out of jail and he wanted to change his life. So, yeah, that's right, Jaleese, he did have an issue with us. Right, and they're going on as if we've been um, using Ash for all this time before I went into jail and stuff like that. Um, anyone who knows us knows that he came on alive and apologised, and bless him. So what am I supposed to do if someone apologises? Say no. Thanks, Cindy, for remembering too. But this is how sick these people are, right? So he reckons that we were paying Ash to terrorise people which is total insanity, right? I said you law, not you, you law. Because you run in a group, don't you? By the looks of it, you, PP, the rest of them. And if you don't follow your suit, then we are the trolls. Don't get it for putting our opinion through. We, I don't troll nobody. I put out what I see. I don't troll nobody. Absolute insanity. If anyone goes back to any lives he was on an exposure and stuff uh, on his own at once, I'd say keep on this path, Ash, you can do it. It might seem hard at this time, but give him a chance. Steve Official Topic Talk, he apologised to him and he forgive him as well. So we've all been had a past and we've all done things we regret. But obviously there's perfect people as in True Seeker. So, yeah, we've never given him a penny. So you have to have your little dig, don't you, in your own little way, you have to have your own little dig. That's why you're doing it on a live, because you're attention-seeking. You want people to feel sorry for you. And I'm sorry, I do not feel sorry for you. You will get what everybody else will get if you conduct yourself the way you are on YouTube. The way you conducted yourself is disgusting. This is disgusting, what you're doing here. Because you're trying to belittle me. And it's not worked. All it's done is made you look a complete fool in my eyes. And one thing and one thing I've got to say to you, Emma. If you don't like what comes on YouTube, don't come on YouTube. End of. That's all I've got to say. I'm not listening to you no more. I don't give a damn what you say anymore. At the end of the day, you got that video. What, what PP's on about. Because I tagged you in it. Go look. I tagged you in that video, Brian Cockrell. Okay? All I've got to say to you, clean up your own house before you start on anybody else. Because, Brian, there's videos out there, the way Brian talks and treats you, that is disgusting. And there's videos out there of Brian on about cancer victims. Do you think that's right? Don't come on here criticising what I've got to say when your own house is dirty. End of. This is the last thing I've got to say to you, or PP, or the rest of the fucking shitbags. If you don't like it, you know what you can do, don't you? End of. This is end of. Thank you, not.